seconds and counting. Hey, what's up, guys? Clips Entertainment here, back with another video. And today we have some breaking news coming from the Houston Texans as they have announced their first cut of the roster cut down. And it's Christian Kirksey, the linebacker who is the team's one of the team's defensive team captains just last year. Kirksey uh, signed with the Texans on a two year, $10 million deal with $4 million worth in guarantees and a $1 million signing bonus for each year, uh, meaning the Texans have saved, we estimate, around $4 million. Not exactly sure on the, the precise number there, but this move should save a decent amount of money for the Texans. We'll have some flexibility and when it comes to what they want to do with the roster cut down, as this is the first one. This isn't necessarily a surprise. As, as Christian Kirksey, uh, the writing was kind of on the wall. He's been injured for most of the offseason. He had a really, really rough, in my opinion, rough season last year. I just, in my opinion, he was probably one of the worst starters on the field. He, he was a liability in coverage. Um, he just really didn't really do too much defensively, stopping the run. Um, he is on the older side. He's in his mid 30s. Um, certainly not the same player he was. You know, with the Browns, with the Packers. He was just kind of here as a veteran presence, stopgap guy. And the Texans are seemingly they're ready to pass it to Christian Harris, Henry Toto. They already have Denzel Perryman, Corey Littleton, and they have other guys in the roster who may make the team like Neville Hewitt, Jake Hansen, Garrett Wall. And we'll talk a little bit more about those guys later. But as for now, Christian Kirksey has been cut. And Jacob, what are your thoughts on Christian Kirksey? Are you surprised by this move? Does it make sense? Is it the right move? Coming into this offseason, I didn't think Kirksey was going to get cut just because I think they like him as a locker room guy, and I get that. But when he didn't play really at all during training camp due to injury and just he came off a bad year, he was not good last year. The writing was kind of on the wall for him, especially when they drafted Toa Toa and they're prioritizing Christian Harris and Blake Cashman's played pretty well. And they signed Denzel Perryman and Corey Littleton and all these other linebackers that just are better than him. I mean, he's he had a pretty good career, but he's at the tail end now. And um, it's just better for them to move on. I mean, they're trying to win games this year and they're trying to develop their young talent. And so he was just kind of taking up reps when he wasn't very good. So I mean, this is the right decision. I just didn't know if they were going to do it, but I'm very glad to see that they did do it. Yeah, you mentioned the the fact that you thought they liked him, and I think they liked him too, but this is also kind of signaling that Nick Casario and D'Amico Ryan, they feel like they have a good grip on the culture. They have a good grip on the locker room, and they're able to kind of sacrifice in a way where you're getting rid of these I mean, locker I mean, room black, guys black, and you're hey, keeping you know talent, more talented you know guys, you know guys, you know guys that played better on the crazy. field because you feel like the coach has a good grip in the locker room and they can yeah. control everything. Oh, yeah. you ready? We thank Christian bro, Kirksey bro. for his time as the team CJ captain, but today, if we're looking at his player grades here, it's just not great. PFF does a decent job when it comes to, you know, grading out linebackers. His overall grade was a 56 Point one. His run like, defense grade was 55.0, and his coverage yeah, grade was 52.5, and he was relied upon a lot today, in man. coverage, and I, and I get that maybe it wasn't on. his best trait. And he did play in that Lovey's from Tampa 2 defense for two years, and he was an absolute coverage liability. Um, you know, you go, guys Cash. like Christian Harris and Blake Cashman go, Cash. and Toa Toa are Glory definitely three. much One, two, better fits coverage-wise. Right, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. has looked to be a phenomenal run defender so far. He's able to bang off blocks, go through contact, finish the play, make big hits, Come make big now. plays. He's had a really good preseason, yeah, too. Easy. And then, you know, he just kind of ran out of a spot for Christian Kirksey to have. Overall, this was the right move. It saves money. It you know, saves room for like too, more seven. talented players. Players that it. simply deserve it. Christian Kirksey right. did nothing this offseason, right no offense like to him, so to man, warrant man, a roster spot so at this man. point in time, like you mentioned, being injured and all that. So it, it was kind of time to move on. And this is this is, was one of those, you know, Nick Casario two-year signs. Oh, veteran presence. And now he's gone. And we're moving on to a new chapter, D'Amico Ryan's tenure. And we're very excited to see 
how the 53 man roster kind of looks after all this. Uh, this was definitely probably one of the bigger cuts you'll see from the Texans, but it was definitely a necessary one. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace.